Okay, so I took it over and we dumped it out, most of it. Still got a little bit of oil in there. Okay, so drain that out. Okay, right here is a magnet and that catches all the metallic stuff that's in your transmission. Uh, the bands that make you go are uh, magnetic, are metal. So you got two magnets in a trans in this transmission. You have the the uh, one around the external filter, and then you have this one that's in here. And uh, just clean it off the best you can. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I've just cleaned it off. Wipe the pan out. Now, clean the mating surfaces. Just clean them off. Wipe out the pan. Okay, so this little tab here and this little tab here is what holds your uh, transmission filter up in there okay so and they say that the uh, the filter the gasket on these oil pans is reusable but I got a new one so I'm going to use it. Fifteen. Fifteen or Okay. That should be tight enough. Okay, so pans wiped out. Okay, let's go put it back in. All right, so. Put a put a little transmission fluid around that seal so that it stays up in there. Okay. Oh, just about forgot something, didn't I? I'm going to go on the other side.
they should start and go up in there really easy. If they don't, then something's going on. that hole better. Boy, there's something going on with that one. Dropped another one in the oil. Like I said, if you get them lined up right, they should go in nice and easy. You got the gasket and everything right. Sometimes you just got to get them back back in the same hole. Screw that came out of that hole. And I'm missing, still missing one. All right, you guys get the idea. Right? Okay, so the oil filter's in, plug's tight, the new external filter, the pan's in with the new filter, everything looked good. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean up a little bit before I tackle the tires and fill it full of oil and stuff and get that part going, but yeah, looks good. Okay, I thought you guys might want some entertainment watching me pour this oil <laughs> into this container. Yeah, it's nasty.
I'm getting more on the cardboard than I am the can. So I went, I have three of these cans, these Jeep cans, and uh, I went to uh, empty them and they were all full this morning. And I took it to two places and their recycling bin uh, tank was full. So I took it to a third place. Young kid takes his Jeep can back into the back and he's gone for a long time. And uh, I'm wondering what the flip's going on. And uh, he finally comes back. And he says, I can't dump it, it makes a mess. So I don't know what he was doing. But I ended up going to five places to try to get my uh, used oil to a recycler. And then, and then I called a number that's for our state recycling, and they're closed on the weekends. So, they were no help. So I think... I think with uh, changing the trance and the motor, it's over five gallons. What a mess, huh? Just because I don't want to pay somebody to, to do it. So now I got another five gallons of stuff. Set that there and go grab me another one. Oop. That should have been the video for today was trying to get my oil cans dumped. It was more entertaining than what I did. <laughs> Okay, see that puddle I made? Okay. Okay. So we're going to erase the codes. Read the codes. Okay, no codes. Oop. Okay. Previous 
exit. Okay. Okay, so we cleared the codes, we got oil pressure, let it run for a little bit, and we'll check the transmission, and then we'll do the uh, So we go in here. Oil life. Fuel filter life. That's another chore right there, setting the We're going to rotate the tires. There's a procedure for that. I'll show you that when I get there. But <clears throat> engine oil life is 100%. Fuel filter 100%. Okay, so trip meter. Low fuel, when you have low fuel, you still, well, I'll tell you how much. I still have six gallons, maybe five gallons left, because it's 26 gallons. Like I say, that's within a, if I go fill this up right now, I'll probably put 21 gallons in it. Engine timer, trans temp. Okay, gonna get out and do a walk around. Squeaky squeak. Putting on that new belt made a big difference. Everything looks like it's running where it should be. Okay. The old filter. Low plug, blowing, okay. job is done. Now I just need to check the fuel levels and top everything off and that's a full service. And then we'll rotate the tires and I'll bring you back and show you how to set the tire pressure sensors. There's a kit. I have the little kit but it doesn't work that great. So I'll show you how you can do it without a uh, tire pressure monitor. Looks good, sounds good. Okay, I'll bring you back on the tires. All right. 
So this is what was on it. They're a little more this year, but I bought, I traded a set of these. I think they're an older model, but they're chrome and they're in better shape. These are starting to peel and stuff, and so I'm going to put these chrome bad boys on there. So the tires are on. The tires are all on it. I'm just about ready to set it down and then uh, we'll do the tire pressure. So I'll bring you back when we're doing that. Okay, so to do the tire pressure, you hold down the lock and unlock. Turn the key on. Sorry. Turn the lock and unlock on. Okay. And then whatever turn signal's on, that's where you start. And you start the way you do it is you let the air out of the tire until the horn honks. Okay. Now this one's on. Yeah, that's that one. Supposed to be. Well, that's interesting. I they're kind of a pain. So it's still working. I guess we'll just let some more air out of it. All right, so it must have went out of learning. All right, so let's do it again. All right, you get the picture. Like I said, it's a pain in the butt. Let's try it again. I wish the thing I had worked better, but it doesn't. Okay.
Just make sure it didn't go to the back. No, it didn't. Okay. I think this is the one that gives me the trouble all the time, is this one. All right, you get the picture. Okay. So, the service is done, tires and wheels are rotated, transmission oil filter, fuel filter, tire position's been relearned. Uh, she's good. I don't know if it's just because this is harder or I'm getting older, but it sure took me a long time, but anyway, uh, I guess as long as I can still do this kind of work, I'm going to do it. Uh, I have a theory about paying people to do everything for you. You know, it's sometimes you're better off. I call it staying in the game as long as you can. You know, your body's going to hurt. And, all that but I used to go hunting arrowheads with a guy that name was Chapo his nickname was Chapo and uh, his philosophy was I'm gonna hurt so I might as well enjoy what I'm doing it's gonna hurt anyway so <laughs> pain just means you're alive anyway that's my video servicing a 2008 Duramax lot to it they cost a lot of money to own and to maintain but if you maintain them and change the oil I change my oil anywhere from three to four thousand miles I never go to where the truck says it's time fuel filters the same way uh, regardless of what the the dashboard says the percentage of the fuel filter I change it once a year if not more the spin-on filter for the transmission, I, I change that every oil change. Uh, the transmission I do once a year. The interior filter. You know, rotate the tires every other oil change. You know, stuff like that. So, you know, it's just maintenance. You know, these people that just drive them until they break. You know, those are the ones that cost a lot to fix. But anyway been servicing the 2008 Duramax thanks for watching if you've been watching okay so what did we learn about this today we learned that you can change the belt on a Duramax without having to take the belt around the fan Fix the squeaky. No more squeaky. Quiet bell. We change the glow plug. Uh, change the fuel filter. Change the oil filter. Trans filter. Both the transmission filters. Rotated the tires. The only thing I didn't do is grease the ball joints, but I'll do that another day. Just got ahead of myself. So we're gonna go out and take it for a ride. Top off the transmission, make sure it's at the right level, and then check again for leaks. But long day, a lot of work. The first time you do something always takes you a lot longer, like that 
belt, you know, knowing what you needed to take apart. You got to take the air cleaner out. You got to take the down the intercooler tube off so you can get the wrench in there for the tensioner. So that's some things we learned. I learned how to use my uh, tire pressure sensor thing that sets the relearns the tire pressure. You uh, you just hold it down and let it up. You don't have to hold it. And I didn't know that. So once I figured that out, relearning my tires was a lot easier. So anyway, take it for a ride and then uh, all good. Thanks for watching. Hello to my family.